What is going on YouTube? My name is Brandon Blankenship and I'm a real estate agent in the greater Los Angeles area and you probably clicked on this video because you're considering on making a move from California to Orlando and I have a special video for you. I'm joined by Justin who's a real estate agent out in the Orlando area and we're going to be talking about what Orlando has to offer you for all my California people thinking about making that move. So Justin, take it away. You want to introduce yourself real quick? Hey Brandon, it's so cool. We're talking to each other from across the country right now, middle right, of the day. <laughs> Thanks for setting this up. You know, it's so funny. I just got a phone call from somebody coming from California wow. that wants to purchase in Orlando. They want to get out of California. And one of the biggest things on their mind was no state income tax. Oh. When you come to Florida, you own property, you can homestead that property as your primary residence, save money on your taxes, and you can even start a business out of the state of Florida once you're a resident here. Um, but yes, my name's Justin Pekarik. I am in Orlando. My handle is Orlando Property Advisor on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And I've been here since 2008, and I've really seen the area grow. Uh, 2016 up till 2020, we were number one in job growth here in Orlando. Wow. A big part of that was all the infrastructure growing, the, the roads, I-4 Expressway, right. and just old Beltway going around Orlando. Mm -hmm. And there's more jobs coming here. Uh, especially in the growth areas around Lake Nona right. and Winter Garden. Right. So with you, with that being said, um, I know in California alone, there's about 700,000 people leaving every single year. Do you know the number of like how many of those people might be moving to Orlando every single year? Because my California people might be like, oh, I don't know anyone there. Am I going to have my California friends? So can you shed some light on that? Do you know a number? Well, I do know that Florida outranked New York to be the number two most popular state uh, just, just two years ago, it, it outpaced New York. Because a lot of people are coming down from New York. But oh. pretty much, I would say more than 60% of people in Florida are a transplant. They're not Florida natives. They've come from somewhere else. And you all have that in common. You say, oh, I grew up in Michigan, or I, I come from the Northeast, or everyone's got some sort of connection to out of state. Right. Um, another good thing is, you know, with Orlando, our travel hub, is one of the best in the nation. We had 72 million visitors last year because of uh, a little mouse that well, you might know of, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Mickey, right. um, who, who's, they're getting going again, by the way, the COVID, they're, they're getting the procedures. But uh, 72 million visitors is a lot. And our airport is expanding. It's a $1.8 billion expansion wow. to have its own train station to take you to Miami or Tampa, to have international service all around the world. Wow. So we're going to continue to grow and be this hub in Central Florida where you get more house for your money than, let's say, South Florida. Wow, that's amazing. So, yeah, speaking of housing, like you just tipped off right there, I need to address the elephant in the room. Um, yes, California is, is expensive, and a big reason for that is housing. So in the area that I service, eastern part of Los Angeles, San Gabriel Valley, um, cities like Pasadena, Monrovia, Arcadia, you're looking about... 750k to 850k for a nice turnkey home three bed two bath around four, right under 1500 square feet what does a three bed two bath look like in orlando for you for around 1500 square feet or more oh, geez i mean 1500 square feet is like a town home man that's small yeah. um right. you know you can get one of those for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, almost brand new but um, no, in the higher end areas of Orlando, like here in Lake Nona or Windermere, Winter Park, Dr. Phillips, you do have some older properties built in the 60s, 70s, 80s, been renovated. But there's a lot of new construction as well. And okay. people are typically starting off their search for a single family home, that 3-2 you mentioned with 2,000 square feet, around 350,000. And it just goes up from there, you know, wow. and, and before you know it, you're into the luxury market, which I would say starts around 800,000 up okay. to two and a half to three and a half million. And you can get into those, you know, McMansions, five, six, seven thousand square feet, mm -hmm. Mediterranean tile roof on a skiable lake with a boat dock in your backyard. Amazing. Nice swimming pool. We got celebrities that live here. Shaquille O'Neal has a house for sale right now. That's over $20 million. That's so, uh, you know, it's, it's just a great place to call home. And, right. you know, the beaches, Cocoa Beach is 45 minutes to the east of where I'm sitting right now. Right. And then Clearwater Beach is about an hour and a half to the west. Okay. So if you get sick of that inland, you can just 
take a vacation for the day. Right. And I think that's a huge thing um, that you just said about the beaches. I know all my California people, the luxury that we have is that we're an hour away from so many amazing beaches. When you got Newport, you got Malibu, you go all along PCH. And, you know, we're also an hour away from tremendous hikes and foodie heaven. Los Angeles has some amazing food throughout the city. Um, what does Orlando have? I know you just mentioned beaches and, you know, the little mouse that everyone loves yeah. in the world. Um, what else do you guys have out there? Well, it's funny. I came down from Boston in 2008. And I thought it was just going to be tourism city, you know, nothing but Disney right. World. But there's a lot more to do here. In fact, we have Disney passes, my wife and I, but we barely even go mm -hmm. uh, because there's so much, so many else things to do, right. uh, such as all the outdoor activities, uh, not just the beaches, but the parks and uh, water sports. There's a thing called Known Adventure Park right here in this neighborhood mm -hmm. where you can wakeboard on a cable awesome. and uh, there's a climbing tower. It's, it's pretty neat. But overall, like you said about the restaurants, you know, any, any given night, you can say, what five-star restaurant should we go to? Mm -hmm. Because with that tourism industry, it comes all the locals get to go eat at those great restaurants, at Disney Springs, at Universal City Walk, at iDrive. And there's a little known spot called Restaurant Row. It's got 100 restaurants in a one-mile strip on Sand Lake Road in Dr. Phillips. Mm -hmm. and it's surrounded by luxury homes. That's amazing. That's amazing. That that's yeah. I mean, my grandparents live in Miami, so I I know a little bit about Florida, but I've been to Disney World once when I was a kid, so I kind of know about Orlando, but not really. But I know with my grandparents, you know, they tell me about hurricanes and stuff like that. So let's bring up weather. My California mm -hmm. people, you know, the weather here, 300 out, 365 days out of the year is absolutely amazing. Only really July and August are extremely hot months. It's kind of heating up right now. It's probably about 95 today. But um, yeah, how's the weather out there in uh, Orlando? I mean, I will say this. When I've traveled to California, I've been in Beverly Hills. I've toured right. some of those Hollywood Hills mansions. And you open up those glass sliders and you're overlooking the hilltop. And I'm like, wow, this is so great. There's no right. screens. There's no right. screens because there's no bugs. Right. In Florida, there's bugs, okay? So you need to have a screen enclosure over your pool in some cases or those phantom screens that drop down with a remote control. Right. And during those months of uh, June, July, all the way up to, let's say, September, October, it's going to be hot and humid. And we're going to have a rainstorm every 3 o'clock p.m. You can set your watch to it. Um, <laughs> but as far as hurricanes, um, two years ago, Hurricane Irma passed through. And we were in this house, uh, no damage. We had wind gusts of about 60 miles an hour. Right. But uh, you don't, you know, you have your hurricane insurance policy as part of your home insurance policy. Mm -hmm. The deductible is a little bit higher for the hurricane if you had damage. Mm -hmm. But uh, these newer homes are built really well, solid concrete block, first floor, wood frame construction mm -hmm. with extra tie down straps for the roof to help for your home insurance policy. Right. So you guys been noticing a lot more newer builds out there in Orlando as well? Of course, everybody wants to go new, not just because of that peace of mind and, and energy right. efficiency of the dual pane windows, but the layouts are better. The kitchen right. is more open. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're not as cramped. They're higher ceilings. Mm -hmm. And the, what the developers are doing is they're building more amenities within the neighborhoods. So, right. for example, Laureate Park in Lake Nona has canvas restaurant and market right in the neighborhood. It's a great restaurant. I, we can walk there. Then it has all those uh, aquatic centers, swimming pools to go to, even if you don't have your own swimming pool. So right. you kind of shop your neighborhood first and then you trickle down and figure out what floor plan you like. Right. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, you, you offered a lot of insight from my California people. Where can they find you again, Justin, in case they are, you know, concerned making that move out to Orlando area? Yeah, definitely. I, I want you to do your own research, but if you want to catch some of my uh, helpful videos, you can type in Orlando property advisor, YouTube. There's some walkthrough tours of new construction, there's more uh, Zoom calls just like this one where we dive in and look at the actual MLS with some investor clients. So I encourage you to check that out. And you can check out my website, orlandopropertyadvisors.com. Right. And that'll all be linked down below in the description. And um, I just helped some clients sell their home in California and move out to Arizona. So I understand how stressful the process can be before even getting started. But rest assured, when you work with two agents that already collaborate with each other, like Justin and I, it can make the process so much smoother. And we can make sure that this next chapter of, of your life goes, you know, as smooth as possible. So you can take advantage of what everything Orlando has to offer. But Justin, I do appreciate you coming onto this channel, spreading some knowledge about Orlando. I know a lot of people are moving out there. So if you guys have any questions for Justin at all, again, information linked down below in the description. We thank you guys for watching.